guys, welcome to a video with uh, Zebros Performance again. I have a 1988 Nissan 300ZX, got it for 1,200 bucks, and uh, had a bad engine with low compression. And well, the engine turned on, but it was burning oil. Checked the compression, it had like 150 on cylinder two, and then the rest of them were like 50, 60. So I threw in a stock VG33 off a of Nissan Pathfinder. So all you got to do is uh, swap out the cams and then uh, the lower intake manifold. And that's pretty much it, honestly, to it, besides the pickup tube and oil pan. But got it running, and we threw it on a dyno. And I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly how it did on three different pulls so you guys get an idea of how the power is manipulated with um, messing with the distributor. All right, so first things first. Stock 3.3. Uh, as you can see, I'm still using the stock Z31 ma intake manifold. The lower one is the one that I had to use for the Z31. And then I'm using a electrical fan no clutch fan but i'm using a pathfinder int uh, i guess alternator and i didn't have to solder or anything it's just literally direct bolt on and then the oil filter right there which is very convenient <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for it so this is the first pull so curious you want to go ahead and explain it to them better man i just know that this is the worst drop off i have ever seen <laughs> look at this like instead of making power you we were lost. losing you power. Lost. You made power until like right here and then yeah. just off a cliff. <laughs> but anyways, so this was pretty, I mean, a lot of torque down low and then pretty much just lost power right here. But 3250, <laughs> I didn't see a 3250, 4750. Um, 126 and, at 4,500. And then the second pull you did, you what you do? You advance it? No, uh, yeah. So second pull, I advanced the uh, timing. So I twisted the cap this way, right? No, wait, I lied. This way. Yeah, so I, I advanced timing. I don't know how many degrees you went, but whatever you did, you lost a crap ton of power. My legend's being weird. Anyways, it made 109, 109 and 142 torque. Uh, trapped the same speed, but it actually lost a bunch here. As you can tell, just, I don't I don't even know what to say about that. That was pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, the third one we did, though, was actually pretty good. Okay, now tell them what you did. So on the third one. So this is a comparison. We'll overlay to the base. So that was the base. Okay, so base is red and blue, right? Blue, red. And then the third run that I did, which is at what, 129, where is where I retarded the timing. So instead of being halfways, I ended up moving it more this way. I ended up making 129 horsepower with 161 torque. I mean, roughly, it's roughly the same chart. Mm -hmm. But he did gain, like, I mean, here you can tell, like, here in the middle, he did gain a bunch, like, I mean, those overall gain, like, ignore the peak numbers, he actually did gain some, so that's, that's pretty nice. The third good. pull was pretty good. third pull was kind of surprising. Uh, or the fourth pull, sorry. This one was surprising. Um, we'll compare it to this one. Okay, so it looks kind of weird, but it has a little hump here. What'd you, what'd you do with this one? Uh, so this one, I just, after I figured out that I made more power by retarding the distributor, right? The timing. I uh, retarded a little tiny bit more, and then I ended up... Uh, well, Chris will explain yeah, to you. Yeah, got a little weird up here, but here, but check this out. That was pretty cool. He actually carried the, the torque further out. Is it the other ones were like 3250, 30, what, what was the other one? 3250, 30, what, 3450, something like that? Anyways, regardless, he carried the torque further out. It made a big difference on it, which is, people don't think it's a big difference. Oops, don't think it's a big difference. I think it's a big difference. It is a big difference. Yeah, anyways, he carried, he carried out, like, so these are 32, 31, roughly the same, roughly the same. This one, he actually carried the horsepower further out, and then he carried the torque really further out compared to all the other pulls. All the other pulls were 3150, 3250. This one, 3750. He made the torque way over here, the, the peak torque up here. But you can tell with the torque line, the dark, uh, so the torque line's here. He actually right here, see? He was actually above, and then he carried it all the way here. Um, the light green line right here, check that out. That's actually pretty cool, too. He actually did better than the other pulls right here. So that was... Yeah, then look, he carried it all the way over here. He actually did better, quite a bit better. Even if he lost power over here, he still did a bit better than the other pulls up here. So that was, I mean, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> I was kind of surprised. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, we all thought it was going to be like 170, 160. Yeah, I thought it was going to be 148. Uh, Everybody was wrong. This guy was wrong, too. Yeah. Oh, Everybody was wrong. It made way less than we thought. Because it, it feels good on the street. Like anybody that drives a Z31 knows that. And for being NA, it feels good, but I would expect in like 140, 150, and boom, you have it. It's making, what, 129? 
129. 129 was the highest we saw. So the last last pull we did was 127. So I'm gonna say. It's all negligible. It's all in the like, They're all in the same ballpark. Yeah. But the, the where you carried it is actually pretty cool though. Like this one, uh, like was in the third pool or the fourth pool, you carried it further out. Mm -hmm. than the rest of them, like that's that's huge. That's 500 RPMs. You could carry it. You, you made that means you made you probably made more torque prior to that. You actually did. And then um yeah, that's pretty cool actually. I think so. Yeah. So keep in mind, this car is not turbo. Boosted is a whole different story, but it's not turbo. It's a VG33. Literally, so you guys know, you guys could swap in a VG33. I'm using a water pump, everything, all this is all freaking Nissan Pathfinder stuff. Literally, alternator, water pump. Uh, oh yeah, this uh, thermostat housing has to be from a Z31. The lower intake plenum, which is right here, lower, right there, that has to be a Z31. And then this, you could use whatever you want to. I've used a Nissan Pathfinder one before, but you do have to raise up the hood. But this is just stock stuff to give you an idea where I'm at. I am uh, running solid aluminum mortar mounts and then the stock headers. Don't do so the stock headers all the way the is the best. It, this car runs literally perfectly fine. No, do poly. Do poly mounts. Yeah, no. Don't, don't but anyways, so there's a lot of things you don't need in this car that I was able to remove. Uh, a lot of vacuum hoses and all that stuff. And <laughs> yeah, and AC and power steering. But <laughs> the moral of the story is this gives me so much room to work with everywhere i totally recommend it if you're building a race car if you want to go ahead and have a car that has ac and all that stuff then just leave everything stock how it is but it's pretty cool to see that this NA engine makes that much horsepower but this is just a car that i bought to fix up and sell and uh yeah thought i'd share it with you guys since uh not a lot of people go ahead and I guess show what the NA numbers are because they're all too worried about boosted stuff. But it gives a lot of people idea of where they're at. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. So I just want to show you guys what we were doing, at least for a bit. But we will go ahead and uh, take this car out of here. And that'll be it, at least for today. But thank you for watching the video. I'll let you guys know if I do end up modding it, even though I'm not gonna. But I'm gonna try not to. I'll put it back to this one. The light green one, third pool, fourth pool. Oh, you want me to put it back? We're putting it back to the third bowl. It's the best one, dude. Look at that. All right, I'll put it back. Well, Before I forget, too. So you guys understand. Okay, with the size 10. So, loosening distributor. The first pull, because I, I know I know people can feel like, oh, you have to check what you did. No, I, I know where I put it. So, halfways, which is right there. That's where I came in at 126 right first pull second pull i ended up advancing this much and that's where the car made the least amount of horsepower and was very all funky so advancing timing did not help me so i ended up moving it a little bit so obviously this halfway is where it's at first right i moved a little bit this way that's where it made the 129 and then after i did the third pull which is 129 i ended up moving it more this way where it carried the power a couple of rpms more on the torque but it made less power so we're just gonna go ahead the 109 tell me dude 109 yeah i already told him oh so yeah, we'll move it right here back to where it was for the 129. And that should be good enough for this car to be mobbed with and uh, obviously have fun with as well. But thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll go ahead and let you guys be and uh, keep you guys updated in this car.